Hi guys, welcome to episode 12, I think. Not really sure, losing track of days, months, maybe even the whole year, who knows. Uh, so today's episode is a little bit weird. Uh, actually filming it in a bit of an odd order. Uh, uh, so I'm now filming this later on in the day. Some of the stuff that you'll be seeing in a minute is already done, but we, uh, we decided to just get out here, crack on, uh, and deal with the filming a bit later. So my wife came out and gave me a hand earlier until my son woke up. So uh, she's managed to crack on massively with some of the stuff. So uh, I will show you what we've been up to. Uh, and please like, comment and subscribe. Uh, that's again some pretty good feedback in that. So hopefully you're liking the videos. I'm trying to, trying to get away from the time lapse a little bit. There will still be some of it because I can't keep stopping and talking to the camera every now and then because you know, I want to try and get this done. So uh, hopefully it's not too boring. Uh, hopefully you get something out of it. And uh, yeah, let's get into it.
Ah, that went a little bit better than I thought it was going to. Um, pretty happy overall with how it came out. It's an awful lot stronger than I thought it was going to be. Um, so, uh, still got to tidy up some of these top welds. Uh, a couple of little holes to fill in, uh, but it's all done down the bottom. Uh, still got to take the door off, fold the seam over, uh, and do tidy up all the inside. Then I'm going to put a load of seam sealer down there, protect all that. Uh, fingers crossed, I think it should be pretty good. Still undecided yet whether I'm going to put a brace in here, across here, just to try and stop some of that. Uh, just because I've got the flip front, so it's not being mounted to a wing or anything. So it's not going to be as strong as, uh, as it would have been. So hopefully I should be able to crack on with that, do that all now. Get it in primer, be nice. Uh, so yeah, crack on. So now that's all tidied up, next job uh, is the bit that could turn this into a fail video. So I've now got to fold this seam, once I take the door back off, fold this seam around the back. Uh, I know there is a special tool for it, it's also particularly ex uh, quite expensive for what is essentially going to be two jobs. So I am going to try and improvise uh, by using either some mole grips uh, or some uh, water pump pliers uh, with cloth maybe some tape around it just to try and protect the panel so uh, either it's going to come out really nice or it's going to be a really wavy panel and I'm going to be cutting the panel back off uh, and buying another one and start again but you don't know until you try, you try these things uh, as you can see uh, we have been fitted to the uh, old doors they are pretty rotten uh, I have got a replacement door for the driver's side haven't got one for the passenger side, but uh, while I went over to the workshop to get these, I did notice that the doors on my other Mini are actually in much better condition with basically no rust on them at all. So certainly I think for getting it on the road, I'm going to slap those doors on uh, and then either recondition these or keep a lookout for some uh, good condition second hand doors to replace, uh, replace these. I think I know you can repair these, but this is far more than just a skin. Uh, all the frame is rotten as well, so you're into quite a lot of big work when you know a set of doors can be had for uh, hundred quid or so. So um, that's what I think I'm going to do for now. It's going to be a really, really patchy. It's going to have difficult doors on it and stuff. But for now, I just want to get it for an MOT. Then I'll. Uh, I think we might rattle can it just to get it for an MOT, give us an idea of the colour and that if we're, we're happy with it and everything. Uh, and then once I've uh, once it's on the road, I'm enjoying it, I can then uh, save up and do a proper proper um, body uh, paint job on it. But for now, I'm keen to try and get it on the road. Uh, I've set myself a target of my 30th birthday this year, which is end of August. Because let's face it, we're, in, we're still in lockdown at the moment. Things aren't changing very quickly, so I'm not going to be able to do anything for my 30th this year. So I want to be able to go out for a drive in this as a present to myself. Because you know, why not? Everything needs a deadline, so I might as well set that. One thing I have got a question for you guys. It's more of a uh, more of a general query. So I've before I fitted these A panels, I watched quite a few videos uh, of other people fitting A panels to their cars. Uh, obviously, most they all had original steel front ends and everything, which I don't have. When uh, when people fit in the wings, uh, the A panels, sorry, they welded along this seam, so either spot welded or um, uh, plug welded along this seam then they simply folded this round here with no welds along here at all 
Uh, I've plug welded this the whole way down. It's the only option I've got because I'm going flip front. But also, when I took the old A panels off, they were all spot welded the whole way down there. I'm not sure if I've just not watched the right part of people's videos or if I'm missing something. But as far as I could tell, quite a few people seem to not not weld these A panels to the uh, the door shut uh, door hinge panel, which seems a bit odd and uh, unusual. Uh, Say so it might just be me uh, uh, misinterpreting videos and uh, everything, but uh, certainly I've I've plug welded it, and I'm really happy with how strong it is, uh, to the point where I'm not sure I'm going to need the brace that I thought I was going to. So, um, and certainly it's something that can be very easily added at a later date. So, because I'm uh, up against a tight deadline, I'm kind of thinking perhaps not doing it for now and just see how it goes when the uh, all the front and flip fronts on, see how strong it all is, uh, and just go from there. Well, I mean, it's by no means immaculate. It's certainly not going to be a show winning car, but would I do it again? Yeah, I think I would. Just good, really. Got to do it on the other side. So, here it is. Not perfect. Going to need a light skimmer filler, but we'd have needed that anyway because of the worlds. But overall, I am happy with that. That is a result. Definitely didn't think I'd be getting that done today. Uh, some of you might be thinking why I'm not doing the stone chip today, which I said I would be. Uh, we had a bit of a think. Uh, I think basically I was trying to rush ahead. Uh, I, in my head, I'd set myself uh, by the time I went back to work, which is next Tuesday. We're now Saturday. Um, I wanted to have the all the stone chip done, uh, and ideally have the front subframe built up. Uh, I don't think that's going to happen now, uh, but. I'm progressing with other stuff that would have happened after that so uh, I think basically I was kidding myself and uh, trying to rush myself into doing it uh, even though I wouldn't be doing all of it so I'd end up splitting the job into two uh, doing that because you've got master car up and everything it's probably not really the sort of thing that would have been sensible to split into two uh, two parts so instead I decided to uh, crack on get all the rest of the stuff so then uh, on the car so I can then, um, when it does come to doing the stone chip, I can just crack on and do the whole thing in one go, which is, I think, just going to make far more sense. Uh, and said, I think I was just rushing into it a bit much. Um, so, yeah. But, uh, back to the A panel. Uh, overall, I am more than happy with that. Going to wash it over with some primer now. Uh, body filler and that will be later. That will be, I'm not fussed about that at the moment. Um, it's as I said, it's as goes with the rest of the car, it's by no means perfect. Uh, but as Tom Sorek, Sorek always says, if you don't try things, you don't know. So uh, here we are having a go, and I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, we can learn from uh, learn on the next one, hopefully, on the other side, it'll be slightly neater. But even if not, I'm more than happy with that. So today's been a little bit of a weird video, uh, ended up not not filming uh, from the beginning uh, my wife was keen to come out here and help so we just came out and cracked straight on with it uh, first thing we did was uh, got the doors on just so I could start lining the A panels up working out what uh, what we need um, as I said earlier these aren't the doors that are going to be on the car they're just here for lining up um, then decided to attack the radius arms and get those stripped ready for paint uh, and work out what I need to order uh, what's good on them, what's bad on them and everything like that so uh, I'll insert a picture here of what they started life as and then 
after my wife's done an amazing job of cleaning them all up still to be painted yet but uh, that's the next job on them so here they are so they've come out fantastically uh, it actually ends up not being too much work uh, one of the uh, one of the rear brake adjusters had seized so we had to drill that out the back plate uh, but that's not really a problem because I'm having I'm having all new black back plates and shoes and pistons and everything like that so uh, cylinders and everything so it's all going to be all I'm using is the radius arms the hubs uh, and possibly the drums but they've got a little bit of a lip on them so I might I might just bite the bullet and uh, go for some new drums as well so we shall see uh, anyway uh, that's it for this video so I will catch you next time please don't forget to like comment and subscribe and uh, join me on the next one thank you